Right now, I'm very happy to have on the phone with me my good friend, Democratic strategist and blogger and editorial writer and uh, former uh, employee of the of the former president of the United States, Bob Wiener. Hi, Bob. It's a pleasure to be with you. Just you, you one have... correction, one correction, Dave. I, I don't blog, but what I do is I write op-eds, national columns, and mainstream top papers. Well, Bob, you need to start blogging, man. <laughs> That's the new Sam thing. Sam you know. told me that uh, on his internet show. You know, he gets seven or eight thousand people, but on his regular ABC radio shows, he gets thirteen, fourteen million. So it is true wow. that the new media uh, has some impact. But but really, Dave, if we can do what you're doing on the radio, yeah. what I do uh, with my regular radio show on on Main Street Radio, and also my newspapers. Uh, it really reaches more people. You know, uh, I didn't even realize Sam Donaldson was still working right now. Oh, he's commenting on TV here and there. Is he really? Yeah. I haven't seen him in forever. I, is his hair gray? Finally gray now? <laughs> no, because <it's> not <laughs> he not still colors it. Yeah, yeah. No, he still he glues it on. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's but that's funny. cancer, Dave. That's, that's, that's the reason. <laughs> oh well, I, I I don't mean to make fun of cancer. Yeah. I just mean to make fun of his tube. Um, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I I'm friends with a guy here in town named Phil Buth, who for many years was. Uh, higher up at uh, ABC, and he knows a lot of those guys, and it's fun to sit around and, yeah. and share stories sometimes. I want to talk about the uh, Wisconsin vote. Right now, there is a little controversy uh, in Wisconsin. Some people saying that Republican uh, pr pranksters have started making phone calls to people saying, if you uh, signed the recall petition, you don't need to vote, and, and this kind of stuff. Of course, that's to be expected. I think it's You're something like that. You're absolutely right. We're watching on the net right now that there are people saying the election's over, you don't need to come, or the election's tomorrow. You know, the uh, Ehrlich uh, campaign uh, chief who uh, arranged those robocalls in the last election is now in jail for that. So I hope that people are listening loud and clear that uh, voter suppression of any kind will not be tolerated. But but in the meantime, you have this really divisive, very, very acrimonious and nasty campaign up there, a recall of uh, Governor Scott Walker because of uh, yep. his, uh, I guess, uh, you know, uh, instituting the changes in the collective bargaining agreements in the state. And uh, it has resulted in a huge national debate over what this election means to the fall campaign. What do you think it means? Well, he's not just the matter of labor where he, he tried to steal labor rights, but he also signed a reversal of women's pay equity. He cut education funding. You know, he's trying to balance the budget on the backs of the teachers, and, and that's really a, an outrageous thing to do. I think it has some impact, but there's an irony here. Even if Walker were to win and carry the state still is eight for Obama. The latest polls show three, uh, Walker by three, although the trending is, is toward Barrett right now. But it's, it, I think this could go either way now. I think it's a 50-50 call, as you and I talked off yes. here this morning. Yes. But, uh, but at the same time, it's eight for Obama. So, but you still, you've got this irony of Walker-Obama voters. It, and the reason, Dave, isn't because they support what Walker's done. It's that a recall takes away the right to vote also. So it's, it's kind of like impeachment. You don't do it unless there really is a treason in a war situation. Uh, you know, Clinton was not convicted. You don't impeach. Uh, you don't uh, recall unless there's really a massive reason. There may well be a massive reason here when you steal with voting, uh, when you steal union rights from the state that created the eight hour, the five day work week and the 40 day, uh, 40 hour work week. Um, when, when you, when you start doing that, maybe there's a massive enough reason and we'll see if it happens. Well, you know, the, he's only what the third governor in U.S. history to uh, right. be, be recalled. And, and you know, when that, when, when you look at a number like that, that this is pretty serious business. Right. You, what is it, what, what does it mean to each side? If, if Walker wins, does it have any significance? In in the, in the presidential campaign? Well, I'm saying that if he does win barely, uh, despite what he has done, which no one supports, but, but they feel he has the right to govern because he was elected, it's, it doesn't mean that they support the Republicans in Democratic Wisconsin when Obama, at the same time that Walker might win, right. uh, is eight points up. It doesn't mean anything. That's one reason why Obama didn't want to tie himself to this election, because he, he, he didn't want it to show that national significance. And, and I think he's right that it doesn't. Well, that was going to be my next question. Does it also indicate that maybe Wisconsin voters are a little more independent-minded than we might think? No, it means they're having a recall election, which, as you pointed out, is only the third one in the country. 
and you're probably losing 25% of the vote you'd otherwise get against him because it's a recall, not a traditional election. Yeah, well, they, they are saying that, um, I'm looking here at some uh, information now, that the, the polling is pretty heavy. There are half an hour, hour-long waits at some polling places, and you normally right. don't see that it, in elections like this. Does that... This is going to be a presidential-level election as opposed to a, uh, yeah. a traditional local election. Now, on the That's other correct. hand, if, if Barrett, the Milwaukee mayor, winds up winning this thing, does that have any significance in the uh, fall election? It will have enormous significance that despite the fact of a recall which should have denied votes, that he is able to win, it means that the people were really furious, which they are, about the stealing of, of, of uh, labor rights, of the rights to, to organize, and the reversal of uh, women's uh, pay equity, and taking away money from education, and trying to give the money to the rich tax cuts uh, on the backs of, of poor teachers. Those are outrageous things to do, which are happening in Republican states all over the country, and you've got the the tradition. What what, it, what the Republicans try to deny is a war on women going on that Walker supports the, the transvaginal ultrasound, which the <laughs> Dave the World Health Organization defines a forced probe transvaginal ultrasound as putting a, a foreign body into a, a woman uh, without her willingness. They call that rape, and so that's a Republican policy in state after state. And, uh, and and then you've got uh, taking away the rights to contraception, which uh, actually has been the tradition of the United States since the 50s. The refusal of the Republicans with all but five to eight votes in either chamber uh, to support pay equity for women. And yet the Republicans want to say there's no war on women. So Walker is part of that and part of cuts against teachers well, and, and taking jobs away uh, from, from teachers and taking p pension money away from teachers and others uh, and giving the money to, uh, to the rich in tax cuts, those are significant factors which if, if Barrett wins, those are the reasons. Now, if Barrett does win, do you, does, this, does this energize the Democratic base, which is feeling a little demoralized right now with uh, the bad economic news last week and some pretty po positive momentum on the part of Mitt Romney? And does it maybe give people in, in states like Ohio, one of the states you, you referred to but not by name, uh, a, 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 an opportunity to say, well, maybe we need to recall the governor here? Well, I've never seen anyone capitalize so successfully on on bad economic news which even in how bad it is is marvelously successful compared to the 750,000 jobs a month that Bush was losing with the same policies that Romney wants to go back to of more tax cuts he wants to give $250,000 a year more tax cuts to millionaires that's actually his policy according to CBO I mean who does that and takes away, and then then says you have to pay for it by cuts in Social Security and Medicare and teacher money and and pension money. Who does that kind of thing? And education money, and that 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 college loans should be privatized and and give it back to the to the banks instead of to right. the government, which which is it has taken away the middleman and lets lets Obama uh, double uh, uh, Pell grants and 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 cut in half student loan interest who takes those things away and gives to the rich so you know those that that's where this election is now yeah it's a it's a it's a fascinating thing and, and the timing of it is is really uh important to many states like florida where we have a, a primary coming up in two months and uh, right. we're going to be seeing you know uh, uh, some pretty high profile congressional races in our district here and uh we also have of course the uh the the, the senatorial uh race which will right. determine who will run against bill nelson the democrat who is the incumbent and is favored to win i guess in some polls all right well i, I i'm always curious to get your point of view because i you're so shy about it and i always have to pull it out <laughs> of you you know you know and uh, i thank you for your time today thanks bob very much Dave, thanks again, and, and, and congratulations on hosting the Jefferson Jackson Dinner, and thank you for having me uh, speak at it. I enjoyed speaking to the, it was it Collier County Democrats? Yes, it was. And thank you so much right. for making that happen. Sure, thank you. I appreciate your time, Bob. Bob Wiener there.